How's it going guys? It's Chuggy from Mad Bio Reptiles and today I want to talk to you guys about veiled chameleon ranching and catching these animals out here in the wild in Florida. So just whoa. Just to get started, this is a wild caught chameleon out here in Florida. There's this group of people that we call ranchers out here in Florida that release these animals into the wild for them to breed. They go back months after, pick up the babies and they have them for sales at reptile shows and things like that. Which I mean, economically for them is great, but for the environment, it's actually a horrible thing. It messes up the ecosystem. These animals eat all the native animals that are here, and they breed pretty fast. Right now, I have a male and two females. The two females that we caught were both pregnant. Now, there's another group of people that they go and steal these chameleons from the wild, where the ranchers leave them, and they pretty much, sometimes they sell them, sometimes they give them away to people. I found one of the people that actually steal from the ranchers, and he sold me uh, four of these little guys. I also have another male, but he's separate because males actually fight with each other. Now, they're not everywhere in Florida. They're in specific areas in Florida where the ranchers go. Most of the time, uh, private properties and stuff like that, so nobody can go. So you have to like jump a fence, break the law for a couple lizards. Once you get them from the wild, they can have parasites. They can be sick. They uh, might not be able to adapt into captivity. So my job is to make them feed or uh, drink water and live the most of their lives in here without messing up the ecosystem. Now this guy has been doing pretty good. He hasn't eaten yet, but he drunk a little bit of water. Now, if you guys can see, he's in a six foot enclosure. This plants everywhere all the way to the bottom different plants different branches going across and things like that I'm trying to make it as uh, natural as possible for them and he just wants to bite my face off the male of this species is the one that changes colors the most uh, they change to show their mood right now he's super angry at me he wants to bite my face off as you guys can see right there uh, the female changes most of the time when she's pregnant she shows uh, colors to tell the male that she is pregnant she changes colors for her mood as well but most of the time they stay green dark brown or even black with like uh white spots on them so let's put leon back into his cage let's see him go it's taking so long Now, there is a chameleon right now on the screen. I know you guys cannot see him or her. She is all the way down here. That's in here right there. You see her coloration? She has yellow spots everywhere and she's black right now. Um, this is one of the hard things on finding them in the wild. Pretty much uh, what they do is they go at night, have a flashlight, and they're uh, calm enough to be neon green and then they stand out from the leaves. But during the day, most of the time they're darker in color and harder to spot right now there is another chameleon which i bet you guys didn't see she is right there you see her coloration she has blues on her greens yellows and stuff like that they're both pregnant and what they would do is go down at the bottom down here they'll dig a hole and they will lay the eggs so i have to be checking for the eggs for them not to hatch in here or even get out the cage because of how small they are so yeah i'm gonna have chameleons so, all right guys so this is just a short video to talk to you guys about my new chameleons uh them in the wild ranching people that steal them from the ranchers and stuff like that and i'm gonna do a whole video about veiled chameleons in the wild uh in florida their natural habitats uh them as uh, pets their care and stuff like that so stay tuned